Hello and welcome to a flexible pose tutorial for FS50. I'm going to be doing the tutorial from Aya 2014 and there's a few essential things that you should already know. So to start I'm going to just create a basic polygon tube. For demonstration purposes radius of 0 0.5, I work in meters and height of 4. Now rotate this so I'm gonna frame it like this. So the important part to making flexible hoses is this value here. More subdivisions along the height, uh, the cleaner the band. So I'll show you a few examples. So first we'll start with 20. We'll actually get into doing the bend itself, flexible. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to animations, double click this joint button. And it's very important that you have orient joint to world ticked. Um, we're just going to place three joints we want here more joints you have you can get better results from that but you don't want to use too many for the game uh, when you finish just hit enter on your keyboard um, I'm gonna actually lock the to the grid so then that's some square Right, now to make this work, we need this pivot freezing. So we go to modify, freeze transformations. And I'm also going to bring up the outline, which is the outliner. See we have joint, joint one, joint two, joint three. I'm going to select joint one, snap it all the way back here. And we're just going to select both. In the top, we'll switch to the animation menu, go to skin, bind, smooth bind, the options for that, max influence is 4, it's going to bind skin. So what did that do? Basically we binded this, the, the joint information through the tube. So Joint one's going to move the whole tube. Joint two is going to move the centerpiece. Joint three is going to move the end piece. And obviously, it works with uh, vision, scale, transform. So let's just undo that. Yeah. So there's uh, another important thing that we need. That is skin, edit smooth skin, in skin white. Should have actually opened the information box for that. Here we go. So this black and white represents the the amount that the joint influences. So. This joint influences all the way up and past the first point. This one influences everything to the left of the joint. This one only influences the end of the joint. Now we can we can uh, we can edit this and just for demonstration purposes and black value. Joint one, I'm gonna say actually we don't want you to go all the way going to bend around that. Joint 2, move some of the end. And this is where you're going to be spending most of your time to make the hoses look right. So now I'm actually going to go back to a white value, increase um, the 
a value from this side of the so Again, this is uh, really rough. And now on joint three, I'm going to extend this a little bit as well. Right, so now we're finished with the the paint white. We're going to see exactly what that did. Little outliner. Again, select the joint. Now, as we move, see the bend starts further up this way. So you want to be spending quite a lot of time uh, doing your paint whites. Uh, you know, and you doing uh, like a gradient painting. So where mine was like just pure black and white, you did a gradient and much easier, much smoother. Over. Can actually pipe up. See this de this deformation is because of our paint whites because we haven't got them 100% perfect. So move joint two this way. We'll move joint three some rotation. See? But like I said, experiment with the paint whites. Uh, you know, you can get a clean pipe. Uh, so let's just undo all this and I'll show you how to export to Giants Editor. But to make this work in Giants Editor, the cylinder or the holes, whatever it is you've modified, has to be under joint. So the joint comes first, then the cylinder. So we're going to select both objects, hit our giant I3D, already got this set, we're just going to freeze. See it moved it back to zero, because that's where the thing is, so make sure you always know where you center of rotation and pivot, sorry. And I'm just going to export all. Start, again, set. Testing IK, which is what I've just said. Obviously, I've just overwritten the file. Now, in Giants Editor, create a light. Let's see. The Scenograph, it's over. I don't want it to snap. Ah. Seen a graph we have joint one, joint two, and joint three, exactly like we did in mine. Rotate. Move. Have bendy holes that you can program in you know, XML. Come to uh, any kind of animation think of uh, there's Im the important part is don't move the actual cylinder the cylinder should always stay at the same place you want to be using the deformation note to or the joint notes to the alter in its position so you need to move it up if you need the whole cylinder move just move the whole cylinder Some uh, and in your pipe. Go. And that brings this tutorial to a to an end. Hope you find this information useful. Thank you very much.